Bob walked towards the sound of the barking until he found the dog, Spotty. It takes me a moment to register that the her they're, they're refusing is to me. It's not uncommon for a child to have problems learning to read. But when the problems persist, there may be something more significant going on. In some cases, the brain may not be processing information correctly. As a result, written material may look like an optical illusion. How does this look to you? It hmm? looks like there's two of everything. I see rivers, and the, like one letter at a time, they flow in, and then they flow back. And everything gets blurry, and I see double vision. Her scores would come back and she had low scores like on comprehension. She was always like under the 50%. They get strain, fatigue, or headaches when they read. The print or page starts to distort or change for them, all of which means that reading becomes difficult and inefficient. And if you have to work so hard, it hurts or uncomfortable, and you're not getting any meaning from it, why would you want to do it? It's a phenomenon known as Erlen syndrome, a perceptual processing problem that educational therapist Helen Erlen discovered over 30 years ago in her extensive research on people with reading problems. From complaints of headaches while reading to seeing words that are distorted seem to fall off the page, swirl around, pulsate, or even letters switching around. It's a perceptual problem that prevents an estimated 10 to 12% of the population from being able to read or study efficiently. Often, they are misdiagnosed as having dyslexia, learning disability, or ADHD. About half of those with reading problems and learning disabilities, this is an underlying cause for these individuals. So you see a lot of misdiagnosis going on. And sorrowfully, when they're misdiagnosed, then no matter what you do, what treatment, what method, you're not getting at the underlying cause, and so things don't get better. What did these look like to you? I can't really tell. Because? They're too blurry. Okay, so they're blurry. Are they all blurry? Yes. Parents need to be aware that a psychoeducational evaluation does not necessarily uncover the kind of sensitivity that is inherent in Erlen syndrome and that many psychologists are not aware of Erlen syndrome and therefore can miss it. For Helen Erlen, the solution came while spending years researching bright adults struggling with reading. She discovered that her clients experienced a vast improvement in their ability to read when a certain color was used over the printed page as a colored overlay or worn as glasses. Helen Erland found that if the color of the background was changed for some people, the page of swirling letters and words suddenly appeared the way they were meant to appear. B-O-R-C. Good job. Was it different? Yes. How is it different? Um, nothing's happening anymore. After. Wait a second, tell me how it looks. It looks clear. Is it doubled? No. I can imagine the things they're saying about, about me back home now. And PETA has had all the gall to, to talk about me in disgrace. What happens with color and the use of color, either when they wear the color as glasses or when we use a colored overlay or transparency that we place directly over the page, is that it normalizes the brain's ability to process visual information. So if you were reading this across, read that. One plus three equals one plus four equals four, two plus two equals five. Okay, you can take them off again. For many people, a life-changing solution has now been realized with the Erlen method of using colored overlays and precision Erlen spectral filters worn as glasses or contact lenses.
An intensive diagnostic assessment is needed to determine a special filter for each individual, as each person needs his or her own unique color. Today, Erlen spectral filters are being used in over 47 countries, and millions of children as well as adults are using Erlen colored overlays. This non-invasive technology is the only method scientifically proven to successfully correct the processing problems associated with reading, learning, and attention difficulties. They have also proven to be extremely effective for people with persistent headaches, migraines, or light sensitivity. And the lives that are changed with the Erlen method continues to grow each day. It's helped them a lot with their school. My kids, Deborah, Jeremiah, Mitchell, and Jessica. And I hope they help me too. I've got my new colors today. I got this and suddenly I could read better. I can face people. I could make speeches to people and not be totally confused. I wished after I had done it, just because of the big changes it made, I wish I had done it when, you know, five years earlier when they first started getting diagnosed. It was nothing short of miraculous for her. I mean, it was, it was you know, overnight transformation and you know, I felt I saw her becoming more relaxed about reading and doing work and I saw her becoming more confident. I could see the spaces more clearly, there was no rivers, none of the letters were flowing in, no, no sparks, no migraines, no anything, and I could really read into the book and I enjoyed reading a lot now. She took her test, the Erlen filters, and she took her test and she ran, like she just, right after school she ran to me, she's like, look, look, I have like 90%, 85%, and she was really, really happy, so it gave her more of a self-confidence. The big thing that I hear is that it's life-changing, that it has changed their lives, that it has given them opportunities that they would never have had otherwise. Typically, I just opened up my emails and here's the first one that popped up and it just says, I just wanted to thank you because these glasses have really changed my life. This year, I just graduated from university and I know this would not have been possible without my Erlen filters, so really, thank you. And that's I'm Catherine. A person's ability to see depends on their brain, not their eyes. The eyes take in the visual information but it's up to the brain to process that information properly. The Erlen method and its vast assortment of colored spectral filters may be the prescription needed to help millions of people with reading and learning problems today. For more information, visit Erlen.com.